Okay, so we're going to do a little bit on the Guardian. God help them. <laughs> Here we are. So we're in the middle of the greatest crisis in the history of humanity, as is detailed every other day in the, in the section in environment. You have to go into environment and then you have to go into climate change to find out about the biggest crisis in the history of humanity, the biggest threat to the nation, the biggest threat to liberal civilization the biggest threat to any semblance of basic morality. So what are the Guardian doing today? They're talking about a, a, flat, a flat refurb, who gives a damn? They're talking about Sean Bailey, some comments he's made about girls. It's the froth, isn't it? It's the froth of the political class It's the froth of the political class. Let's leave it like that. Okay, so compare that, right, with last week, half a million pounds worth of damage was created by nine women at HSB headquarters, including um, including Valerie Brown, Mayor of London candidate. Did that get a mention in The Guardian? No. Was The Guardian there? Yeah, he was. Damien Gale was there. So who made that decision, right? So what's more important, the flat ref refurbishment, Sean Bailey or half a million pounds worth of damage legally enacted against HSBC? Then there was six people let off in a historic court case for criminal damage with lawful excuse against the Shell headquarters. Little thing in the Guardian for a day no editorial, no, this is a massive moment in British legal history where the juries come up with common sense against the establishment, against the legal, the legal professional classes, against the liberal appeasement of the biggest death project in history, right? So, you know, so far so good. Everyone knows about this. Everyone knows, you know, this is what the liberal media does. But it goes deeper than that, right? I mean, the most depressing moment of the last five years of my, you know, work on the climate crisis in London was going to see the editor of The Guardian explained we're looking at billions of deaths. You know, just read The Guardian articles, for God's sake and Catherine Viner just looks at me as if I've given her a quarterly finance report, right? I mean, I was depressed for about a week afterwards. I mean, I've been reading The Guardian every day, more or less since I was 13, right? What Catherine Viner is doing is violating the essence of the liberal proposition, which is moderation in all things. She is leading The Guardian into the greatest act of obscene appeasement in the history of humanity, right? We're facing billions of deaths. We're facing 1.5 degrees locked in. Everyone knows it's over. Is The Guardian reporting on that on the front page? Are they doing, you know, four pages on the security implications? the economic implications, 1.5, the millions of refugees that are going to be coming over from the Sahel. Are they doing anything about the political catastrophe we're going into? No. But not only are they not doing that, like, they're just sitting there like dumb lemmings going over the cliff, right? You've got crime correspondent, Damien Gale, I know this guy, he's a cool guy. What are they going to do in about five years' time, right? They're going to be sending him to the southern Italy when there's 50 million Africans surging into Europe, right? Think I'm exaggerating. I talked to this guy, I talked to the top of the agricultural department of the UN. He said, if you think 
5 million refugees from Syria is a problem. Wait until you've got 50 million Africans coming over from the Sahel, right? These people, these people know, right, what's happening. And what are they doing? They're talking about refurbishment and little tidbits of the political classes infighting, right? And the most stupid, catastrophically stupid element of this is they're sending their journalists to their deaths, right? Because as soon as social collapse happens, these journalists know it, right? The people that run The Guardian are basically sending their journal the journalists to their deaths in five or ten years' time by not going into civil resistance against the genocidal regime, which every other liberal class in history would have done. But not this liberal class, because it's got no fucking guts, right? So what are they doing? Their cowardice will result in the mass slaughter of journalists around the world, because everyone knows the first people to die in social collapse are journalists, right? Now, journalists know this. So what are the journalists doing? Just going along with it, right? I mean, if it was like, if they're going to shut down the newspapers, they're going to civil resistance, right? If they're going to cut off all their pensions, they're going to civil resistance. But when we're talking about billions of black lives, oh, no, no, let's talk about refurbishment of Downing Street. This is the biggest betrayal of liberal values, right? Forget radical values. This is the biggest betrayal. And Catherine Viner knows this shit, right? This is the thing, you know. If you go down the road and you talk to some builder, it hasn't been explained to the average builder, right, what's happening. He's not guilty. The thing about these people is they know precisely what's going to happen. They just churn it out every day in that little section in climate change. Suicide. Criminal, criminal negligence beyond definition, right? And the least they could do is give Valerie Brown, the candidate for burning pink, who's got the courage of a black woman in London to stand up and say, this system is fucked. We need ordinary people, not fucking psychopathic editors of The Guardian to make decisions about what's going to happen to the black people in this world and to the working people of this country, right? The least they could do is give her some sort of recognition. But no, of course not, right? Because refurbishment's more important. Because what Sean Bailey's doing to girls is more important. That what's happening with a little bit of Brexit news is more important, right? This is suicide. And The Guardian is leading the charge into the pit of fuckness. That's the situation. Perfect. <clears throat> okay,